Making a video from start to end is a lot of work, especially if you're not using these next few tips to make videos faster. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Unicorn Warrior and two of the most important parts of the video making process is staying organized and planning ahead. And this includes knowing exactly what you're gonna make the video about. And for that, you're gonna need a script. While you're filming, it's best to have a shot list. A shot list is all the shots and all the scenes that you have to record. It's very useful because this way you won't forget anything. But let me tell you, it's one of the most annoying things in the entire universe when you're editing your video and then you realize, oops, that I didn't record. So shot list and script, very important. During the filming process, it's also very important to keep everything nice and tidy and organized around you. So that means that if you're done using one lens, you put it back to where it belongs. If you're done using a tripod, you put it back where it belongs. If you're, if you're done with using a light, you put it back where it belongs. You get the point. It's important because it is a common problem that you leave C-stands, crew members <laughs> or microphones hanging into the footage that you have to remove afterwards. It could cause a lot of headache in the post-production because it takes time to remove it and time is money, especially if you're on a budget or doing everything all by yourself. Trust me, I know. You wouldn't even think of it, but I actually had a microphone hanging into this video right over here. Luckily, I knew the right software to use when it came to removing this annoying microphone from my video. With the AI-powered any eraser, removing something like this takes literally this much. Bam, it's gone. Any eraser is available online for desktop and for iOS devices as well. For this task, I use the online version of it because it's just super convenient and super simple. All I have to do is upload the video that I want to remove objects from. I select the object remover mode, select the area I want to remove the objects from. I can add multiple areas as well. And then I click on remove objects now. Once any eraser is done with the process, I can just download my clip and continue editing. Now in the desktop version, you can do the same exact process in a batch. So if you have multiple clips to remove objects from, it's better to use that one. And if you film something on your smartphone and you don't want to mess with a computer, you can download the iOS version, import the video in there and remove the objects from the video using any eraser on your iOS device. All three versions of any eraser are super simple to use and you don't need any editing skills to know how. So if you want to give it a try, all the links are in the description. Now still part of staying organized, it's good if you manage your files properly, which means that when it comes to storing them or in your editing software, create separate folders for each file types. What I mean that put A rolls in one folder, put B rolls in another folder, put your assets in a third one, and so on. This way you'll find your files much easier and you won't waste time on searching. The next tip is using the right file formats and codecs when you're recording a video. The reason it's important is because during the editing process, an inconvenient file format or codec can slow down your computer, which, trust me, will give you a lot of headache. But if you're using the right ones, everything will be nice and smooth. For example, don't record a video with an unreasonably high frame rate. You don't need it, unless you want to do slow-mo. For example, I'm recording in 25 FPS, but if I were to record in 50 or in 60, this literally double the amount of data that the file will contain, which will obviously slow down the editing software, hence the computer as well. And make sure that you're using H.264 codec because that's just the most convenient for internet purposes and video purposes. But in case you get mixed up with your file types, you can use the Uniconverter's converter to put everything into the same file format or use the compressor if you need to compress the files. For example, you recorded in 4K or 6K accidentally with something, but you only need full HD, just compress them. The workflow will be much, much faster. Also, if it turns out that you want to do TikTok or Instagram Reels instead of YouTube, but you already filmed a lot of stuff horizontally with your phone or with your camera, with the AutoCrop tool of the Uting Converter, you can put everything into vertical aspect ratio and it will keep everything that's important automatically in the center. You can turn all your horizontal videos into vertical ones in just a few minutes. 
The Union Converter is a complete video toolbox that makes video making much easier and much more fun, especially if you're a beginner. Now another great tip to make your video making process faster is using stock footage. You see, you don't have to film everything by yourself. It's also pretty much impossible to film everything on your own, but that's what stock footage sites are for. And there are a few that are actually free, for example, Pixabay or Pixels. You can just search for a scene that you want, for example, dogs in a park. And there you go, you can just choose the one that suits your vision the best. And lastly, when you're editing the video, don't overuse effects and crazy transitions. It makes the video gimmicky. Instead, keep a nice balance, don't get carried away. You have to let the viewer watch the video and understand it. It won't take a lot of time while editing, it won't add extra time to your rendering time, and altogether, it just makes everything much faster. But that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed these tips and found them helpful and if you did please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content related to video making. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next video.